Then I grab the wife's phone, log into the Craigslist accounts, and I go and I update a bunch of my ads. You can see on my other video, uh, 12 Craigslist ads a day. Ta da! Miko! Go poop! Go poop! Go poop! While I'm waiting for the dog to take his morning shit, the whole time I'm walking around with my phone in my hand all morning, renewing Craigslist ads, checking the weather, going on the calendar, and updating everything, and checking out, scoping what we're going to do for the day. I always wear double socks. Catch a sweat in the summer. The wife's always bitching because I always have like grass clippings and shrub trimmings in my socks and it gets in the laundry. It's awesome. We're doing a next restaurant on the Skodex property. A super micronutrient green shake with almond milk. Stuff's amazing. Drink it every morning. One scoop of this has, it's like you're in two pounds of uh, raw organic juice, broccoli, carrots, cabbage, kale, spinach, alfalfa, sprouts, spirulina, chlorella, and this is the vegetable based protein shake. Get the magnescent iodine fluoride blocker heavy metal detox. <laughs> Berkey light water filtration system with the carbon filters and the anti-fluoride filters. This thing was every bit of worth 300 bucks because tap water makes you stupid. Fired up and ready to start the day. Take off the club. thing was filthy from a huge landscape job we did last week so yesterday we took it to the car wash and detailed it for like two hours but the whole thing was just covered in mud nice and clean now ready to start the day lock box. this is like my secret ammo box it's filled with all my lock keys and all that my business clipboard with all my paperwork Ta-da! Ready to roll. Let's get the day started. What up, sir? I'm like uh, eight minutes away from you. Yes, sir. I'm filming a whole uh, documentary of my every morning step through the landscaping employee trap. Good morning. So that's how I start my day. Minus five million other things. And on my way to meet the guys at the first job site. Pulling over into it during the currency and the value translation conversation. The action equation is when you bring it home and you take this value that you're offering and you actually, you take it from there's not a moment that I'm driving that I'm not, or every moment I'm not communicating with a human being. <laughs> I'm listening to audiobooks and audio educational training programs. Just, I didn't learn shit in college, so. But these audiobooks are amazing, man. Only use the best stuff. Actually, bucks today. Usually it's like a hundred and something. Good day. All right, we're at the first job of the morning. We actually had another job planned, and it got pushed back. And then another client called me on the spot. He says, "Hey, I got a tree job for you to do." I was like, "Boom! I'll be there in two minutes." And right on the spot, picked up another job. So when you build a big network of people, even if the job gets canceled or pushed back, what you can do is. Work just keeps popping up. So we're trimming up this tree here right now. It's a rental property for a client and all these low hanging branches have caused you know, stuff to break and fall in the last storm that we had. So I'm strapping on my tree gear, climbing up, and I'll be dropping all these branches while my guys are cleaning up. Here's the tree gear and this tote. Got the saddle. 
Now, like I said, I just got in a tree gear, tree uh, work a couple years ago. Here's the gaffs, the spikes for climbing. And I love it. I'm nowhere near a pro at it yet, but I know my way around enough to get the job done. So, climb saw, and I'm going up. Get the saws gassed and oiled up already. Quick, before I strap on my gear and run up this tree, I'm on the phone looking at the tree you know, with the customer, and I was like, any tree company would charge you know four or five hundred to run up and trim it real fast. So four hundred bucks, and she's like, oh no, no way, I'm gonna have to talk with my husband about that. I'm like, well, I'm here right now. I got to do the job now. So I'm like, okay, if you do cash, three hundred bucks, like three hundred, boom, get it done. So I'm gonna run up this tree and trim it real quick. We're gonna cut up the branches, throw it in the truck, and get the hell out of here. 45 minutes, the whole job, 300 bucks, boom, on to the next job. So that's how you increase your profits, is you find what makes the most money. My New Year's resolution for this year was do more of what works and do less of what doesn't. So find the things in your business that work, do those, and do less of what doesn't work, and I promise you, you'll make more money. Okay, we're going to go trim this tree. You know I'm talking and I definitely don't know a bank that's gonna give me 20 grand for a fucking chipper. And I don't wanna be mad. Throw it all in the back of the truck. If it's a bigger job, we, or we bring both pickup trucks and we hop in the back. We just keep chainsawing and chopping it down and stomping it down. And we could fit so much in there, it's unbelievable. Alright. Almost two and a half fucking hours later. So much shit came down from that tree that it took forever to clean up. Whatever. I thought it was going to be an hour. <laughs> 45 minutes, not really. But anyways, we were in a jam, and a customer had delayed a job this morning. We were already on our way there, so pulled that out of my ass real quick, and made decent money this morning. All right, we're Favorite Wing Lee Chinese restaurant in Sterling Heights, Michigan. If we're ever in the area. Oh my God. I hate fast food. Finishing up some delicious almond chicken soup. Five cups of ice water. Five glasses of ice water. We're at the dump now. We had so much shit, we had to put the rest in the trailer. Usually this never happens because we have two trucks, but. Uh, like I said about the chipper, I know you can get a used chipper for like five grand. I just, not at that point yet. I'm gonna be, you know, we don't do enough tree work, so we gotta pay for two loads on this one. But yeah, this is the dump, isn't it exciting? So exciting. Alright, All right, here goes. What's he doing? Is the motherfucker doing tricks? What's Huh? Oh yeah, this is JJ, man. Yeah. You gonna be in the video? Yeah, sir. It'll be on YouTube. I'll send you the link. Bye. JJ is the fucking shit. He's the shit. This is why. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Done. Done. Dude, it's so hot out right now that I, at the last job I was dry heating. And I'm not being dramatic. I was on my hands and knees almost puking. It's so hot out right now. Alright, I'm just being a pussy. Let's get back to work. Alright, hooking back up. Usually I get it on the first try. But it's on an angle, so. Oh, some classical music. Am I good? Way off. Because <laughs> I'm trying to videotape at the same time. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, dude, I've never been that way off. Don't, that doesn't even count. That doesn't even count because I'm trying to videotape right now. My pin broke. Oh, I hate when that happens. The whole clasp fell off. 
Gotta go to Home Depot and get another one. Are you used to that shit? The shit breaking? Whatever. What's up? Uh, Slurpee. We're done for the day. For seven days a week, we're constantly as much as you can. But on, on times like that, uh, you know, a wedding anniversary, that's important. I always take, you know, a week off and we go do something. Because I work so damn much all summer that my, you know, the wife's upset. Because I walk into the door at 9 p.m., I take a shower, eat dinner, and go straight to bed. Alright, cool. That's a glimpse into the day of Keith Kelfus, <laughs> the landscaping employee trap with his red cherry slurpy face. Get it done. Nico, who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? He's a good boy. Gotta go, Patty. Go on, Jack. Go on. Come on. Get, get all the mail, laundry. Oliver, come here. <laughs> come here. My wife rescued this little kitty. He's kind of skittish still, but all night he'll sleep on your chest and purr. He's a good kitty. All the girly stuff in our house. See what's going on with the landscaping employee trap. New subscribers. Check it out. Oh, that guy, Lawn Care Millionaire, is awesome. Subscribe to him. He's like straight up nuts and bolts, like way ahead of the game in landscaping, a true professional. That guy's awesome. Lawn Care Millionaire, subscribe to him. Don't even ask, just do it. Guitar Fisherman, Twin Muscle Towing, Lincoln Landscaping, Evan Carmichael, Matt Steffler, Lawn Care Savannah, Gerald Henry, George Martinez, Chris Collins, Welsh Ray One, and then don't forget, you just type in Geek to Freak and he pops up right away with 50 billion views. There you go. I'm uh, just talking to the camera. Life gets off work at like 3.30 every day and I'm usually not home till late in the day. Happy to be healthy and just really in a state of gratitude right now, honestly. An attitude of gratitude, that's the secret, is to just be thankful. And I do, I spend a lot of time looking at what other people have and what they got and I, I know I'm I said in my other videos, don't look at what other people have, but sometimes it's, it's hard. You go back and forth. You be in total gratitude for what you do have, and then other times you're like, you know, but what would it be like? I mean, the end of all dream, vision, is to be in the Caribbean Islands with some coconut juice dripping down your elbow, sitting in a hammock, and have a drop-top Ferrari and some beautiful house, and not have to work. I mean, that's all possible, but even the, some of the clients I have are multi-millionaires. They're busy working. We all go to work every day.